Welcome to the ISD 535 Introduction to Google Calendar. Please remember to pause the video and try out these tasks as you go along. The first thing we have to do is sign in to our ISD535.org account. Type in your full email address and then your password and click the big blue sign in box. This will take you to your email. Go to the top right hand of the screen, click on the little dots, and click on Calendar. By default, it will bring up the week view. You can also look at it by day, by week, by month, four days starting today, or an agenda of upcoming events. In the week view, if you click on any time slot, it will pop up a quick add dialog. You can say that you have an appointment from 8 to 9 a.m. on Thursday. The default calendar is your own personal calendar, which means no one else can see it. So I'm going to go ahead and create that event. If I want to add more details to an event, when I create it, I can click on this edit event. Or if I've already created it, I can just click on the event itself and it'll bring up a much more detailed screen. I can make the event all day long, which removes the start and end times. I can say repeat by various options on various days of the week. I can enter a location. If there's a video call, I can add people to it, or I can remove the video call. I can add a description or change the color in my calendar. If I'd like to add other people to this event, I can invite them. I just invited Google Teacher, and they'll get an invitation in their email inbox. When I'm done making changes, I click on Save. This will remind me that I should probably send invitations to the guests and not just add them. To delete an appointment, I can just click, click it and then click delete. If it's a recurring appointment, I can delete just this instance, everything from this onwards, or everything in the series. In this case, I'm just going to delete everything and not update my guests. If I'd like to create a new calendar to share with other people within the isd535.org domain, I just click My Calendars and Create New Calendar. If I want to share it with students and staff, I might say it's a class calendar. I have a description, location, and make sure the time zone is correct. I also want to check Share this calendar with others. Make this calendar public will not have a big effect right now. Even if I make this calendar public, we can, they can only see free or busy, not exactly what's going on in the calendar. So they would see the time blocked off, but couldn't see why. At this time, the administrators of the ISD 535 domain do not let you share calendars outside of the ISD 535 domain. So in order to see all event details, the person would have to be logged into their account with an email address that ends in isd535.org. Otherwise, they can't see the details of the events. Once I'm happy with my details, I click Create Calendar. If I want to create a new event, I'll click Edit Event and then call it new event date and time look fine and I go down to calendar and select class calendar if I leave it in the John Bartus calendar it will stay private only to me if I select class calendar then everyone that has access to this calendar will be able to see this event you can see by default it comes up with a different color to let me know that it's in a different calendar than my own. 
If I would like to share this calendar with specific people inside the isd535.org domain, I select the calendar and then I select share this calendar. Right now it's set up so that everyone in the organization Rochester Public Schools ISD 535 can see the calendar. If I'd like to add another teacher who can add or change events, I just type in their email address or their name. And I can change it to either just change the events or make changes and manage sharing, which means they could then add other people to the calendar. I'll click Save. And now both myself and Google Teacher can add and edit all the events on this calendar. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to Google Calendar and sharing. And if you have any questions, please email me at jobartus at isd535.org.